fields are fertilized and limed. It's time to grind it in. Let's go, let's get disking. So today I'm not going to play around at all. I'm going to hook the disc gang up to the 756 and get this field fit here at least two passes and then go over it with the caldum mulcher and things should be perfect for planting with the M and the 510. So let's get that done. I can tell you my best harvest ever was when I put beans in the ground on May 29th and uh, Monday's May 27th. So I feel pretty confident planting as late as even Wednesday to still get a good crop but I'm gonna hook these discs up to that I'm gonna unhook the fast hitch the 311 plow and get things done stay tuned so you can see I got to get this plow disconnected and I want to say this plow did a really nice job it was a fast hitch 311 plow not enough for the 756 but that's okay now, I do have the clips pulled up, and I should be able to drive right away from this and go hook the discs up. So I am hooked up to the 756. Now, what I have to do is I got to go and grease every one of these zerks. You can see here there's grease fittings or zerks. Every time you use a set of discs, they have to be greased every single time. Uh, there is one bearing on here that is sealed. I didn't put that on there. I would not have used a sealed bearing. Not a fan of the sealed bearing. Somebody else was. So when I go to change whichever one it's on, I think it's this one here, uh, it will get, you know, a non-sealed bearing it will be replaced and there is one disc uh, right there that I have to replace too so no big deal overall it's in good enough condition to work and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spare you the agony of watching me grease this up even these uh, wheels the transport wheels have grease fittings on them in the You can see these corn stalks. Um, this was a deer food plot all through here. Uh, about five acres, four acres. Made a really good hunting plot, but uh, I need to come through here and disc all these down. And then, of course, I'm not running a muffler on it right now. And I'll show you later on in the video why I took the muffler off. So let's have some fun. Let's have a little talk about why the muffler's gone and I'm running a what, three, four inch straight pipe? You see these overhangs right here now? Most people, most farmers would cut these. 
You just come up with a chainsaw, a pole saw, whatever, and you cut them off and you're done. I'm an avid archery hunter, and the one thing that I know about overhangs is they turn into buck scrapes. When you have scraping opportunities on your property, bucks will be there. That's all there is to it. Of course, you need the does. You gotta have the girls to bring the boys. But opportunities like this change the game. There's a scrape here every single year. So I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna take the muffler off my tractor and go under this with the set of discs. The M had the muffler, so I saved it for the 756 to come through here. Sneaking through, I'll give it two passes, this will be done. So therein lies the answer, why a muffler less. through here. 